I suppose it feels like Sunday or something to you, does it? Mm -hmm. Sort of holiday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, now, of course, today um, we've met so that we can get our factory sh shop, you know, really organised. So we've a lot of decisions to take. Now, where you can't see any screens at the moment, there will be screens like these over here. So we can put all our notices and everything up today and we'll just stick them on the walls for then, yes, uh, for now. And then they'll put proper screens up so that we'll have a proper wall round our factory, you see. So, first of all, can I have a look at this with you? And uh, then we'll see, decide... What sorts of things have you done? You've done... Uh, oh, you've done some patterns. Yes, boots of distinction. That's interesting. Yes. So we can hang these up, because we sort of have a factory with a, with a history, haven't we? Yes, yes. Rather like the factory you went to see. And then you've got... Uh, oh, we've got a name for our factory already. Is that the name, or is that the one you went to? Oh, she just like like it. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? It's all right. Well, if you want to change it, we can change it today, but if you like it, we can keep it. We'll have a talk about that later. Right. I'm sorry, you've got all your shoes drawn. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you've got some velvet ones and some pure leather. Mmm. And I like that sort of tough, tough one, like... <clears throat> Sometimes you have to make climbing boots and things, haven't you? Yes, and a Wellington. Oh, that's marvellous. Now, that's... Uh, oh, I like this. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this. Yes, very nice. So this could have been one of our first ones that we'll have to put up. I wonder where we should put this. You see, if you look round, I've sort of tried to make just a hint of the different places where diff people do things, like, um, <coughs> obviously, if, when we're at work and we need a drink or have our sandwiches, we need somewhere, you know, to put the coffee urn and, and everything. So I thought, well, if we have a bench like that, and you could put your cups over there now, if you want. You know, sort of like it's all used and we're used to it. I mean, at the moment, the cups are all clean and... Uh, and that. Oh well, you you won't forget them next time, will you? Otherwise, we'll be fighting over them when it comes to tea breaks. Mm. Do you want to take it out of the bag, Paula? Because then it looks like you know it's not a new mug. And why? Oh, I, I don't think this is going to be fair. I've got the smallest cup. Oh dear. Maybe it isn't as small as it. Ooh, I shall get first to the kettle. <laughs> are the cups in there as well, or is that tea and coffee? Shall we take it out? Right. It's a good idea to bring it in something, isn't it? Because often it might break. It's, uh, gosh, very nice. You've chosen some very nice designs. Now, shall we just put this? around my office. You see, I've got an office. Simply because we needed a teacher's desk anyway, don't we? Where we can find things. So I thought, well, if we had a coat rack, we have a kind of an office, you know. And uh, then we have to decide where else we're going to put everything. Because these are all the things we'll need. So where do you think we should start and put these notices up? That old notice, I think, should go up somewhere that's so important, we never think to take it down, you know? Yes. So have a good look round, remembering we've got all these walls. We won't have a wall over that side. You think up this side, yes. right? Yes. Bring it over and we'll get some blue tack and you fix it. Right, put it up. This is going to be a very precious document, is it? Yes. Even though it's got, like, candle grease on and it's... Very... He did it with margarine, I think that's excellent. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, it could have had oil on from splashes in the factory, couldn't it? We put candles on because then he was making it. You would use a candle because there wouldn't be lights. Really? As long ago as that? Yes. Well, you put it where you think now. Can you manage? I've put two pieces there because it's a bit torn. And then let's see where we should put uh, these other things. The hygienic boots. Yes. 
done by a deaf person. Excellent. Well, I suppose if you're deaf, you can still draw. That's remarkable, yes. But where should we put this one? Hygienic boots. Do you think this goes with the history? Well, let's put it up with the history. You can see the blue tack there. Put that one up. Oh, now is this how we are now? Yes. Yes. So it's quite big. Yes. But we're just one workshop of it. Yes, we're sort of in the main building up there. And these have all been added after. Well, where do you think we should put this? Up there. Up there. Right, put that on that wall then. You see, we haven't got the screens for there yet, but you can put them in. Oh, this is interesting. Are these the founders? Oh, yes. Yes, as if that's the history part. All right, put up the founders then. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the copier. Well, you get that up. Right. Now, this looks like a more modern plan. Mm -hmm. Right, where shall we put this? It looks like we've designed a new one, doesn't it, a bit? Where shall we put these new ones? It looks to me like these are suggesting that we're considering a re a relaying out our works, doesn't it? Where do you think we should... Oh, yes, I like that. Mm. Do you want a chair to stand on? Well, get one. Mm. Oh, I like that. Do these two people have names, or have we not invented any yet? Oh, it would be interesting to invent names for that man with that black beard. Were they married, or are they far... Oh, no, they're both gentlemen. I see that now. I thought at first it was a grey-haired lady. I didn't think properly, you see. Yes. Is it father and son, then? That looks like father, that looks like the son. It does, doesn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Upright gentleman, that there, doesn't he? Uh -huh. And you get the feeling of what, how he was dressed the rest of him, don't you, when he was at work? Mm, very nice. I can't resist inventing their names. Later on, we'll, we'll invent names for them. Now, where are we going to put the plans for the newest this part of the factory? Yeah. All right, we'll get it all up then. There you are. Put all those three up. And there's another one there. While I have a look at these, can you all give a hand? Oh, yes. Now, these are obviously all our designs, aren't they? Now, do you think we should have these designs on the walls? I don't think we should have them on the workbenches. Workbench benches. Workbenches. Someone. Put them on my desk for a minute then, and then we'll put them on the workbenches. And that's another one. Well, we'll leave the name till we see if we still. Oh, I like that. Excellent. And you've drawn it to scale. Mmm. Yes. Now, are we going to put these up? Yes. Right, we'll find a good place for them. You should put them all together. Yes, you should. I agree. Mm -hmm. They could, if you're going to be using these regularly, they could go on the end of the blackboard just here. You know, you can put things low down. You know, when the screens are up, we can have them low down. It's just we haven't got any screen yet. Well, not where we're going to write, but you could put them just on the end like that. You know what I mean? Like, we need to borrow it. Yes, those are going to go on the walls, aren't they? No, let's put all those on the walls because they're all to do with my ideas for new, new factories. Put them all together, those. Like, you know, we've had a think and we've put all our heads together and we've planned it. And then we'll have our foot where we can... Uh, where we can see it. It could go on the front of the desk <laughs> for consultation, you know, if you weren't sure about the shape of the foot. Uh, now, is there anything else that should go up? Oh, well, I think that ought to go over there, don't you, with all this... Uh... Oh, yes, definitely. So we get the family tree up, and this size stick looks as if it should go with the old-fashioned things, doesn't it? Oh, yes, well, they can go on the desk. And there's one of the newest machines. Or is it one of the oldest machines? It's a stitcher. Mm -hmm. Well, we certainly should have these up, shouldn't we? Are these part of the history? Oh, they certainly are, aren't they? I wonder if we could use that wall for that. Stick them all up then, and then we'll see how we go. If you need me to stick anything up a height, you know, I will. 
there's plenty more blue tack if you run out of it. And then I think, uh, I have a feeling I need this one in the office to remind me, you know, who to telephone if we're on short of leather, don't you? Right, let's put that in my office somewhere. And then we'll have a look and see. Can you manage? Shall I come up for you? You can't quite reach. No, it's very tricky. Maybe somebody else can. Do you want to? All right. Good. That's fine. Whoops. It's all right. I'll hold it. Is it managing? Yeah. I so. It's all right. In a way, what we've done then, you see, is we've made a factory and the people who first started it are watching us work all day, aren't they? Do you get that feeling about paintings? Mm -hmm. mm, I do sometimes. And they say the eyes follow you. <laughs> and then they know what you're up to. Right, we've got this other piece to put in, haven't we? Maybe they designed this. You know, maybe it's one of their designs. Where do you think you want to put it? Mm. Right, let's do that. It goes rather nicely there. Leather, yes, it's got to go in my office, I think, somewhere. Can you stick it with the new plans? And then we've got this feeling of everything. Uh, we're all set. Now, have a look at the coffee urn and everything there. Do you think I've charged the right sort of price for, you know, we'll have to pay for our own coffee? Yes. But I don't know, I don't know quite, you know, whether it'll work out. We'll probably have to do the accounts on that. Now, let's see what else we've got here, just so that I... Oh, I know now what we have to do next. Staff notices. I, I thought I won't do them till you come, and then we'll work out. For example, where are we going to have the men's and the women's toilets? <laughs> Well, you've got them on your plans, so I think we should have them, because every factory has to have them, haven't they? Otherwise, you, you, you don't obey the laws. It should be what? It shouldn't be the table, because it wouldn't be very high to It wouldn't. No, you're right. Yeah, we could have it with an arrow, couldn't we? The thing is... Are we funny ladies and gentlemen, or are we doing pictures, or are we doing funny names like guys and dolls, or what do you think? Um, guys and dolls. You don't think guys and dolls? Well, I, cho I said guys and dolls simply because it's American, you know. Um, I don't know what the Blackley family would like, you know, or whether we have men that's been crossed out and something else. Very posh. Yes, in their day. Mm. In their days, they probably, I don't know what they would put in their day. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I suppose they would, really, wouldn't they? But what shall we put? I mean, have we got the old labels that they made in good enamel or, or what? Or have we made new ones, do you think? I think we would have made new ones. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the oldest part of the factory, but it doesn't mean you can't have new labels on your toilet, does it? <laughs> so what shall we put? The one that we have now, ladies and men. Ladies and men. Ladies and gents. Ladies and gents. Ladies and gents. Right. A. D. E. 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 Now, where are we going to put the arrow? Underneath in red. In red. Can you put me the arrow underneath in red then somewhere? Find a table and do it. Now, are we putting gents? Yes. Gents. Yes. Yes. Gents with a blue arrow. Yes, that's a good idea, that. Yes. And then we know, even if you can't read, you can see the colour. Yes. There we are, and a blue arrow, and then we'll decide exactly where to put them up. And I'm just wondering about where we should put this holiday notice. Is Find a place for the. Yes. 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 Should go over there in the table. Well, you've time to stare at it. Yeah. That's quite a point, isn't it? Mm. Ladies, yes. 
Right. Well, you know where the blue tack is. You go and put the staff notice holidays up then. Oh, and then we'll put the I'll put gents. That one the other week. Oh, well, that's good. Because if the gents is that way, the ladies is that way, you know. I think that's very sensible. Right. Well, at least we know where the toilets are. We know about our holidays. We know where we can get a cup of coffee. We've got all yeah, that. Now, do you think there's any other notices no, we need for the staff? No smoking. Oh, yeah. Ooh, did the smoke in the shoe factory you went to? No. no. Well, I think that's very important. Can you write no smoking with any colour you like? Do it in red. And draw a picture of a cigarette with smoke coming out. Will you put a cigarette with smoke coming out? And a red cross. Is that like they do in aeroplanes and that? Yes, good. Well, he's got the red one for putting no smoking. I've got the blue And if you find it's a bit short, you know, we'll get another piece of card. But it looks like he's going to make it do. So you're going to write a smoke. You're going to do a cigarette and a cross through it, right? Okay. Now, is there anything else? Walk around it and see whether we've got... I know we haven't arranged the furniture yet, but I think... Uh, no smoking. That's right. Good. Now, you she'll need the red pen. You could put a crossover if you like. Hey, we haven't got a first aid box. Can you do a first aid box with the... Uh, you know, maybe like it looked like it was on the wall. It looks like it's going to need that red again. It's a popular colour, isn't it? Good. Well, put it up where you think it matters. Where do you think we're going to put the no smoking notice? In the tea room. Yes, all right. Um, oh, yes, it does. That's because I'm asking you to fill in if you want February off. Oh. oh, yeah, because we're really mm -hmm. yes. smoking. No yeah. smoking. Yes, that's looking very efficient. Let's have a good look at that now. Yes, the red's coming round. He's doing a first aid box at the minute. Now, I'll have a walk round and just see if there's anything else we've forgotten for the walls that would be important. Hey, I've got... We haven't got a fire bell or anything like that. What do they do in oh, factories? Oh, oh, you better do one quick. We would have to have a fire practice, wouldn't we? Yes. 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 Uh, we haven't fixed where the telephone should go. We've got a telephone. I'm just wondering where it's going to be. All right, you fix the telephone up then and put the wire where it has to go. Just thinking, is there anything else that people need at work? No smoking. Good. Well, there is a notice there, but you might like to. It's up to you, really. Well, he's done it on purpose. Well, that's what people do, you see. Somebody might come on and say, no, I don't want that. He's putting the first aid in the tea room. We're putting the first aid in the tea room. Where are we going to put this other... There's no smoking Beside notice. The um, Beside the toilets. Under the staff notices. Under the staff notices, yes. I didn't realise yes. that I had put the arrow that way. Well, that's good. I don't think you'd have the ladies and gents both in the same place in the factory. I mean, it's an old building, isn't it? It's not like we've got a new place with three of everything, is it? Or, like, just one little one, maybe, for us, because there's not many of them. First day. Can you manage? Good. That's it. I'll just press it a bit more. You know where the first aid is if you need it now? Hey, with no accident book. Oh, yeah. Aren't you supposed to report accidents? Just wondering where that would be. In, your, in, your office. in my office. Will you just make a note and I'll bring an accident book for next time. Break glass in case of fire. Now, where should we put that? Uh, oh, no. It wants to be where we can get down a back door, really, doesn't it? In case of fire, break glass. Where should we have our back door? Yes, as if it was going out through there. That's a good idea. Get it up, then. 
They'll call it the accident book. That's a good idea. Yes. Fine. Well, just put accident book for now. You won't need a very thick pen probably for that. And then I'll have a big book. Do you think it, from when you went round the factory, did you get the feeling they had a lot of accidents? Yeah, because, um, well, when you store machines, there was a lot of wires you could chip off of them. Yes, yeah, so, and they could get electrocuted if they were careless, couldn't they? Yes. Hit their thumbs. There's no more blue chat. Well, there's another packet that I sort of hid so that we used up the first lot first, that's right. So now we can put our next lot. And I think we're about ready for that now, aren't we? Yes. Can you think of anything we've some, forgotten? Um, little balls. Oh, it might be an idea. That's what I've done before. When the yes, it's crashed. very helpful to have it ready first, isn't it? Ooh, look when it's new. Isn't it nice? <laughs> Gosh. Right, I'll let you do that now, and then he can put that up. Now, what I have not... Yes, pardon? Ah, good. Right. Oh, that's excellent. So we'll have to watch the wire if you come into the office then. Otherwise, it'll be flopping out at that other end. Right. Maybe we won't need much more of that now. So we'll leave it like that. And let's now work out how we're going to have all these tables for work. Now, when you went round that factory, can you remember the sort of ways they had everything? Or well, just the sections. They had to, didn't have them in the middle. Yeah. And they had a great no. big one along the middle. They had a, well, they had a, big, a very big uh, finish where, where, they kept, where they kept all the... Uh, all the gear. Yeah. All the yeah. storage. Was, well, maybe we like need a storage course. cupboard in ours. You know, we can label it storage cupboard. Well, all we have, of course, is school furniture because in a classroom, that's all you have. You can't just ring up and say, give us a big table, can you? <laughs> so can you turn this now? into our factory with shoes and that lying about and everything looking like it's getting done. And uh, we want it so that we can get to all the walls. I think that will probably be enough for now. Fine. I'll tell you what we don't have. We don't have a waste bin, do we? We'll buy, we'll get a waste bin for next time. Right, thank you. Now, arrange it round and then so that you've plenty of room for working and the manager has plenty of room to inspect what's going on. There's a bit of space over here as well. Not too near the coffee machine, I think. Don't you? And, uh, right, we'll put that in my office for visitors, shall we? Maybe this side of the desk and then I can stare at them. You know, if we have interviews. Well, I was leaving that for the moment because we might need paper for patterns and things. And I, I was sort of keeping it rather like the museum a bit, you know. It says reserved, does it? Oh, I think that's come from somewhere else. Let's just have it down there. I think you've got to make this factory like it's a proper organised factory. With everybody... That's excellent. Please report any accidents in this book. It's up to you. Just, I want this to look like it's a proper factory where everybody gets on with their work and knows what they're doing. Now, you're thinking about workmen and I'm thinking about management. Now, when you think it's all right, come over to the museum bit and we'll have a look. Can you sort of stand back at the back here, you know, and then we can all survey the scene? Did they? Mm. Well, speaking as a manager... I'll speak as a manager, then you speak as workers. I think I should be upset if I came through and saw my work people had thrown a cogwheel on the floor. Personally. 
Because that all costs money from this firm, don't you? You know. Now, I don't need to say any more as the manager. You think like managers for a minute and see what is right for the floor and what is bad for the floor. Just the scraps of the bed. Just the scraps of the bed. Mm. Mm. So if it's right for the floor, leave it on the floor. If you think it's wrong for the floor, then don't leave it on the floor. And remember our lady, our two gentlemen here watching us. What would they have let us do? You know, we'll get a waste bin for that later, shan't we? It's the plastic bag. Well, we'll just leave it here for a minute. Now then, let's come and have a look over the benches. And what we have to say to ourselves is, can you tell the sort of work that goes on around here when you see this? They're all in different seats because I have one show over here and the other one in that pair over there. Yeah, it does look a bit disorganised, that, doesn't it? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, now, arrange things now so that they're reasonable for work. That's probably the next thing. Put all the rest. And then when you're satisfied with it, well, maybe there's going to be somebody working at designing something there, you see. We don't have to have it spread all about. I mean, all these people are going to be working. Now, this looks like a place where you come when you want a pattern or you nearly finish the fair. Or what? Oh, yes, these things will happen. But, but today we needn't worry because they'll fix those for us on the screens, you see. Right. You don't think the last should be where the shoes are? No. No. They're at the very beginning and the shoes are at the very end. You're right, aren't you? Well, the thing is, are these lasts going to be part of the museum or part of the job? Part of the job. Well, if they're going to be part of the job, get them on the benches where somebody's using them. Now, this looks like this is a special order for Mr. Duncan. Mm. Right. Is that Mr. Duncan as well? Is it the other shoe for Mr. Duncan? So obviously Mr. Duncan must have a special order, mustn't he? And uh, this might be a new design we're trying out. And this we might be... Uh, uh, yes, it, we might be repairing these. Maybe they're special sorts of comeback. Yeah. Or maybe we're just testing this kind of sole, so you know. People walking on them. Just wondering who we'd give shoes to if we wanted to test if they stood up to a lot of wear. We'd give them to the Yeah, one of the workers to wear them all the time, yes. And see what to be like And see if they're comfortable, yes. Give them to Carrie, she. Oh, yes. Well, at the moment, she needn't wear them because they'll do for our factory, won't they? Now, you went round the factory. Do you think. Do you think now you could think of the work you'd be doing? Because I think we've got to get the jobs going, don't you? Yes. yes. Now, do you need my help, or can you just do what you saw in the factory? Do what was in the factory. Well, that would be a help, because it means then I can come round and I can see the factory. You see, I never went to the factory. Right? Uh, did they give you any idea of what time the work's opened in the morning? About ten o'clock. Really? Nine o'clock. What time did the workmen come and the ladies to work? Oh. Were there any ladies in it? Yeah. Yes. On the sewing machines. Oh yes. Yes. So we really need one table at least that has a sewing machine on. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, you only need to imagine the machine, and the machine comes into your mind, doesn't it? So it'll be a machine then. So we don't need a great sewing machine, because you'd have that between your ears, wouldn't you, thinking it? Right. In fact, everything will be thought, won't it? Because when you're working on a boot, you haven't got a boot. You just have the feeling of working in a factory, so we'll have the boot when we need it. So if, 
if I want to pick a boot up and polish it, I've got it, haven't I? And you've got the same because uh, it's, it's there behind your eyes.